A photograph shows a parade celebrating the 25-year anniversary of the Americans with Disabilities Act. A logo appears, Georgia Council on Developmental Disabilities. The film features the following speakers. President George H. W. Bush, Claudia Gordon, U.S. Department of Labor, former White House advisor, Daryl Chill Mitchell, disability activist and actor, Drew Walker, Atlanta, Amanda Alford, Atlanta, Jana Coulter, Louisville, Kentucky, Mark Johnson, Director of Advocacy, Shepherd Center, Dan Myers, RR Mobility, Atlanta, Simi Linton, author and disability activist, Eric E. Jacobson, Executive Director, Georgia Council on Developmental Disabilities, Representative John Lewis, Georgia, Georgia Governor Nathan Deal, July 26, 1990, President George H.W. Bush stands at a podium. With today's signing of the landmark Americans for Disabilities Act, every man, woman, and child with a disability can now pass through once closed doors into a bright new era of equality, independence, and freedom. 25 years later. The Americans with Disabilities Act is an integral part of our nation's civil rights journey. Former White House advisor Claudia Gordon signs. Images feature disability rights marches, a bus painted with the words, The Road to Freedom, performances by people with disabilities, and museum displays. Words appear at parades, trade shows, on a nationwide bus tour, during rallies, dance performances and marches, and inside a mobile museum, we celebrate the ADA. Daryl Chill Mitchell, disability activist and actor. The importance of the ADA is very important because it gives people almost a level playing field. A parade celebrates the ADA. A man uses a wheelchair. Drew Walker, Atlanta. If the ADA wasn't in place, I wouldn't be able to get around Atlanta because I couldn't get on a bus. The parade proceeds down a street. Amanda Alford, Atlanta. My chair can fit under my kitchen sink and bathroom sink for the first time in my entire life. A banner reads, Captioning Matters. Jenna Coulter, Louisville, Kentucky. So in the past 25 years since the ADA has been enacted, when we caption, it seems like everybody that we caption for, um, we always get emails that are like, thank you, you've changed my life because I can now go through college because I can have communication access that I didn't have before. People in wheelchairs participate in a march. Words appear. The ADA is working, but there's more work to do. Marches hold a banner that reads, Access to Every New Home. Mark Johnson, Director of Advocacy, Shepherd Center. One of the things that still needs to be done um, is employment. Uh, most people with disabilities are still underemployed or unemployed. Employment is the final frontier. Obviously, with having the financial means to take care of yourself, affords everyone more opportunity to live a normal life. Dan Myers, RR Mobility. A performance features dancers in wheelchairs. Simi Linton, author and disability activist. That as we are now emerging, upping the ante on the demands for a truly inclusive society, we disrupt the social order. We further confound expectations when we have the temerity to emerge as forthright and resourceful people. Nothing like the self-loathing, docile, bitter, or insentient fictional versions of ourselves the public is more used to. We have come out not with brown woolen lap robes over our withered legs or dark glasses over our pale eyes, but in shorts and sandals, in overalls and business suits, dressed for play and work, straightforward, unmasked and unapologetic. We continue to work on, on making sure that everybody has equal access to everything and that people have equal access to jobs, they have equal access to schools, they have equal access to all the pieces of, uh, of, our, of our city and of our country. And uh, we're not done yet, this is just the beginning. Eric E. Jacobson. In this society, we would lead our own independent lives. We would make our own informed choices and we would enjoy our own self-determination. 
social justice without economic security is meaningless. Former White House advisor Claudia Gordon signs her speech. We have so many people, a large percentage of people with disabilities who are out of the workforce because there are too many hurdles that have been thrown into their pathways. Come on, my friends, let's continue to march on. Let's continue to lead on justice, equal rights for all. Happy 25th American Disabilities Act anniversary. Representative John Lewis. My dear brothers and sisters, I know we are here to celebrate, to commemorate the 25th anniversary of the passage of the American with Disability Act. None of us, not one of us, not any of us must be left out or left behind. People in wheelchairs tour a mobile disability rights museum. Disability Day Atlanta, March 5th, 2015. An American flag with stars in the shape of a wheelchair waves. Governor Nathan Deal. The legislation established a clear message throughout the nation and in Georgia that discrimination based on disability must end. Words appear over the red, white, and blue American disability flag. This is about independence and freedom. A logo, Georgia Council on Developmental Disabilities. Fade to black.